In order to choose an effective trading strategy, we first analyze the main factors that will affect our choice. A time frame is essential when choosing a Forex strategy. The time frame determines the length of your trade and the size of your potential income. Short-term positions imply low potential income, but it's compensated with their high frequency. Medium-term trades may bring higher profit, but the outcome will depend on market conditions. The long-term position's profit depends on your initial balance. Another point to consider is the experience you have. For instance, short-term trades might seem easier, but entering and exiting the trade at the right moment is challenging. Therefore, such trades are usually made by experienced traders. Account balance. It's also important to consider the amount of funds you have when choosing the best trading strategies on Forex. To stay afloat for months, you will need to have a considerable amount as the price will move in your favor and against you. When trading on a margin account, the risks rise significantly. The first strategy we will look at is scalping. Scalping is one of the most popular FX trading strategies used on low time frames where an asset's rate rapidly changes. The idea is to open numerous trades to compensate for their short period, usually positions close within 30 minutes. Scalping is among the few Forex strategies that work for news trading. Important news and events increase volatility, providing numerous trading opportunities for a short period. Also, traders use technical analysis for scalping. It might be worth using leading indicators as they can forecast a trend reversal. The most common leading tools are the Relative Strength Index RSI, Voving Average Convergence Divergence MACD, Stochastic Oscillator and Average Directional Index a DX. We will consider a currency trading strategy with the Stochastic Oscillator. The strategy is usually applied to a 15-minute time frame when a market moves within a solid trend. The common stochastic setting is a length of 9. On this chart, a buy condition occurred once the indicator left the oversold area. 1. The trade would be closed with profit when the stochastic entered the overbought zone. 2. A stop loss of 10 pips would limit risks. Swing trading is among the top Forex strategies used on different time frames. It's based on the assumption that the price can't constantly move in one direction. Even within strong trends, the rate corrects, moves against the overall trend. Traders use such movements to both buy and sell within the trend. The best way to trade currency with the swing approach is to place trend lines every time the price touches a trend line and turns around. It's a swing. According to the strategy, a sell trade may be set when a price bounces from the upper trend line and buy position may be open when it bounces from the lower trend line. You could place a take profit level on the opposite trend line, regardless of the trade direction. A stop loss order can be calculated in accordance with the risk Awood ratio of 1 to 2 or 1 to 3. The chart shows a potential sell trade. You could short when the price touched the upper trend line 1. A take profit order would be placed on the opposite trend line. 2. To limit losses, you could use the 1 to 3 risk A ward ratio. 3. Day or so called intraday trading is one of the best Forex trading systems. It's used when a trader closes a position before the day ends to limit risks of unexpected events that can cause enormous volatility on the next day and avoid rollover fees. For example, one of the best trading strategies on the hourly chart, day trading and RSI. The strategy says that a sell position can be opened when the RSI leaves the overbought area, 70 to 100 range. A buy position can be opened when the RSI leaves the oversold zone, 0 to 30 range. Traders usually choose the closest support level for a short trade and the nearest resistance level for a long trade as potential profit targets. The risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 would help you determine the stop loss level. The chart depicts a potential buy trade. You could go long when the RSI crossed the 30 level from bottom to top. 1. A take profit order would be set on the closest resistance level. 2. A stop loss level would be half the potential profit. 3. If you want to find the best Forex strategy ever, you should create it yourself. Change indicators settings, test different technical tools, and trade on various time frames.